tutorial on how to use the MX Management Center made by Mobotics for your Mobotics camera. We'll start first by double clicking the icon that's on the desktop. This is our office camera. You can tell by the cars going by that this is in live mode right now. I want to get into playback mode because that's what we're most likely going to need. But I have to get there first. Normally there's a bar up here at the top that will allow me to switch. If that is ever missing for you, press the Alt key and that will toggle the bar being present. Not present. On view and go to playback. A lot of features that I'm not going to cover, you can find more about by pressing the help icon in the upper right hand corner and then clicking on one of the tags. To hide the help tags, Press the question mark again. When we're looking up an event, we normally search by time. There's three ways that we can do that. We can do that through the histogram on the far left or through the time controls on the screen. It doesn't look like a control, but it is. Or through the calendar icon. So I find that the histogram is useful to see that there's recorded data there, but I prefer either the controls here or the calendar icon. So let's pick a time. I'll go to 8 this morning. 8 p.m. hasn't happened, but 8 a.m. has, and I'll click enter. And there we are at 8.14 this morning. One of the methods that Mobotics uses for their app is that if you long click or right click certain icons, you'll get an extended menu. So with the calendar icon, if I long click here, I can choose a time frame. Let's just go today. Now when I move this, you'll see that it is just times for today. Now I'll select a time. If you can see the spinning wheel there, but it's thinking, it's retrieving the file. And here we are at 5.59 a.m. this morning. Let's talk about the transport buttons at the bottom. This is the forward play button. If I click on this, it will begin to play. If I click it again, it will pause. This is the reverse play button down the bottom right, arrow pointing to the left. This is the previous frame, and this is the next frame. This is useful so that we can go back and forth. Now for our purposes, what I'm looking for might be in the right lens. This is the lens selection right down here in the bottom left. And you can either long click or you can drag. If I drag, you'll notice it changes colors to indicate which sensor it's going to highlight. The next icon is a magnifying glass. Magnifying glass. The zoom icon. Zoom there. You can. And a very important feature is the contrast. Actually, this is the brightness. This is the contrast. This 
This is very useful because the light is not always the same. So if you're looking up license plates at night or in the daytime and you think you might have missed it, using these controls right here can help bring things into uh, much better sharpness just by changing the contrast and the brightness. When you finally selected something that you want to save, then it's time to export it. Before you can do that, you have to tell the software what you want to export. So I'm going to click on the Start Export button right over here. And let's long click. Take a look at that. So it's only about 20 seconds. Let's make that a bit longer. We'll go to uh, six. I'll close this. So now I have an export range from 559 to 620. To export, I'll click on the export icon. You can see the range right there. And there's basically two versions of export you will need. One is the Mobotics export, which means you can bring it back into this program and view it, or PC, which means you're going to save it as an AVI file, and that's what you would give to the police, not to mention a snapshot. We're going to choose the Mobotics. It's going to ask you for a location. I'm going to put it on my desktop so it's easy to find. And there's a progress bar up here in the upper right. And we'll wait for that to finish. While that's finishing exporting, I'll talk about the advantages of exporting. Your storage on your camera can only record so much data, and then it's going to overwrite what was the oldest event. So if you want to save an event, the best way to do that is to export it. Of course, you would need to export it if you're going to have to turn it into the authorities for um, them to do something about an event that happened. So our export is complete. I'm going to move this over to the side a little bit. And I'm going to drag my file right back into the playback window. The other nice thing about the export is it's not relying on the camera to feed it back to you, so it is a lot quicker. And you can see the light changing from the morning, early morning to later morning. One last thing that you can do under File and Preferences, you'll want to check where the path is for your snapshots. I've put this on my desktop so that at any time if I take a snapshot, you have that snapshot and it has the timestamp and the date stamp as well. That is pretty much the basics of how to use the MX Management Center software.